Well, no one did that. If there's one place in the world that, that always seems to attract the craziest and most entitled lunatics out there in the wild, it's Walmart. The fine, pleasant people of Walmart have been no stranger to this channel in the past, and today we're going to be taking a look at yet another customer upholding that Walmart image as the breeding ground for crazy people. So for a little context, this woman had just finished her shopping, wasn't paying any attention whatsoever, and she proceeded to completely cut the line of customers waiting to pay for their stuff at the cashier's counter. Naturally, she was called out on this, as anybody would for cutting the line, and her response was to have a full-on temper tantrum similar to that of a five-year-old as we're about to see. And without further ado, let's just get right into the video. I can't calm down. I can't be touched. I didn't touch you, I man. I was pranked not that long ago and I can't stand another man touching me. Well, no one did that. Is this a prank? I can't. He won't go away. He You're needs to go away. He's the fucking problem. I need to leave? No, no, no. Just walk away. We'll take you to the I still got, I still got, okay. We'll she threw some place. of my stuff. I oh, only went in line. That's an Please. adult. You're making it so far, a very rational and level-headed response to being asked why she skipped the line. You know, pretty average, actually, from what you'd come to expect from the typical deranged Walmart clientele. I gotta say, though, the backpack she's wearing definitely matches up with the five-year-old maturity level I'm witnessing here. Considering she's having a full-blown temper tantrum, it's like she just never matured past that age. And before we continue watching, I actually do want to add a little bit more context, which I think is important, since I did manage to find the original post of the person who recorded this video. He went to Twitter and shared some screenshots of a local Facebook post where an employee verified themselves that the guy who recorded this video did in fact not touch her at all. Here she is accusing this guy of assault, to which an employee comes in and responds, You're a damn lie. I watched the security footage and was there and you pushed ahead of him and many others in line while stating, My life is busier than than yours. Then you shoved your cart into his back and threw canned goods at the man. Never did he touch you. Considering the guy recording also sounds dumbfounded in the video and even asks if it's a prank, I think it's safe to say that nobody touched this woman. I was pranked not that long ago and I can't stand another man touching me! Well, no one did that. Is this a prank? She also mentions how she was raped recently, which I'm not really sure what the relevance of her being raped in the past has to do with this situation. I mean, this is a Walmart. It is absolutely nobody's responsibility, especially in a public place to cater and tiptoe around anyone. If this is how you act at the slightest inconvenience in life, like being asked not to skip a line, you need to stay home or get on some meds or go to therapy or something. You'd have to be a complete complete narcissist to think the world revolves around you like this person does. And last I heard, being raped, as bad as it is, doesn't give you free passes to cut the line at Walmart or not take any sort of accountability for your actions. What kind of a manipulative argument is that? I didn't touch you, I man. I was raped not that long ago and I can't stand another man touching me! Well, no one did that. Okay. Okay. Is this a prank? Okay. I can't. He won't go away. He You're needs to go away. He's I need to leave? No, no, no. Just walk away. We'll take you to the I still place. got, I still got, okay. Let's, let's she threw some place. of my stuff. Okay, we will just Where's take you to another place. I hell if I know. I'm so sorry. No, you're not, you're not sorry. We'll she wasn't you. sorry when she cut in line. Fuck and then you! Screamed. I didn't see you! To make it. Where's she, where's oh, I just stuff? asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just leave. Just go. That's leave. an adult. You're making it worse. Let's just walk up I'm to you. I'm just talking. Walk up to you, sir. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Yeah, when a person brings out the banshee cry in the middle of a Walmart, that's when you know they should probably be supervised. Just listen to that. This was all over a spot in line at Walmart. You can't convince me that there is anything at Walmart or related to Walmart that warrants this kind of a reaction. With that said, the entitlement is through the roof here, and it'll probably stay there because unsurprisingly, it seems like the employee's side 
collided with her at the end of the video. Granted, probably just to defuse the absolute shit show in front of them, but still, nonetheless, asked this man, who did nothing wrong, to move, reinforcing this woman's insane behavior. I don't know how old this nutcase is, but considering she's a fully grown adult acting like this, she's probably acted like this her entire life, and that's not gonna change anytime soon. This woman's face just says it all. If someone is looking at you like this in public, let alone a Walmart, you're definitely in the wrong, but I guess this woman is lacking in any self-awareness. I mean, this is a person who's fully comfortable casually falsely accusing people of assault in order to not take accountability for something as minor as cutting a line. She needs to be thrown in jail, actually, for false accusations immediately. Wait, you're making it worse! Let's just walk up I'm to just you. talking. Walk up to you, sir. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Yeah. Like Chris. Just and to think this could have all been avoided if she had just, I don't know, waited in line for her turn. But yeah, it goes without saying that nobody is forced to accommodate you, no matter what you're going through or have been through. And I think it's actually pretty shitty of this person to use her getting raped as some sort of trump card to cut in a line. Bring that up to not take any accountability or face any consequences? I mean, that's just an insult to other people who've went through similar things. And for for some reason, she's very comfortable shouting that information to a bunch of strangers at a Walmart. I just feel sorry for the dog she's getting food for, but anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel, and until then, stay sane. Peace.